In the previous lectures, we have been discussing about Turing machines, and in this lecture, we will be seeing another example of Turing machines where we will try to design a Turing machine for even palindromes. So, our task is to design a Turing machine that accepts even palindromes over the alphabet AB. So, I hope you already know what are even palindromes. We already designed even palindromes even using pushdown automata in our previous lectures. So, let me just repeat once more what palindromes are. So, palindromes are those strings which are same whether you read it from the left or whether you read it from the right. So, for example, I have a string over here which says A, B, A, A, B, A. Now, if I read it from the right side, it is still A, B, A, A, B, A. So, this is a palindrome and we call it even palindrome because the number of symbols in the strings are even. So, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 number of symbols which is an even number. So, that is why we call it even palindromes. So, our task is to design a Turing machine which will accept even palindromes. Alright, so first we will see how this Turing machine will work and after that we will see how we will design it using the transition diagram. Alright, so first let us say that we have this string and let's see how this string will look like if we put it into the tape of our Turing machine. So, here we have the tape of our Turing machine and we put that string into the tape of our Turing machine. So, we have A, B, A, A, B, A and then the remaining cells, it is filled with the blank symbols because we know that the tape of a Turing machine, it consists of infinite cells and then the empty cells, they are filled with the blank symbol which is this one. So, this is the way our tape looks like for this Turing machine. Now, how we are going to design this or how this Turing machine is going to work, let me explain it to you. So, what we will do is, first we have our tape head over here and then we will read the first symbol. So, we see that the first symbol, it's an A. So, I will replace this A with a blank symbol. And after I replace this A with a blank symbol, I will keep moving to the right until I reach the end of the string. Now, how will I know that I reach the end of the string? I will know that I reach the end of the string when I encounter a blank symbol on the rightmost. So, here I encounter a blank symbol and now I understood that this is my last symbol. Now, when I encounter this last symbol, what I will do is that I will check whether it is same as the first symbol that I read. So, the first symbol that I read was an A. So, I kept moving to the right until I encountered a blank symbol and I came one step to the left and this is known to be my last symbol. Now, this is an A and we saw that this also was an A. So, since both of them were A, I will replace this A also with a blank symbol. Now, what I will do is, now I will keep moving to the left until I reach the beginning of my string or the first symbol of my string. Now, I will keep moving like this and when do I know that I encountered the first symbol? It is when I see a blank symbol at the leftmost. So, remember that this A is not an A anymore, it is a blank. So, from here I keep moving left and I encountered a blank. Now, when I encountered this blank, I understood that yes, I have reached the leftmost of my string. So, what I will do? I will just move one step to the right and I see that it's a B over here. I will replace this B with a blank symbol and then what I will do is I will keep moving to the right until I encounter the rightmost symbol. So, from here I will keep moving to the right and when do I know that I encountered the rightmost symbol? It is when I encountered a blank. So, here this A is replaced with a blank. So, as I come here, I encountered the first blank and then I understood that yes, I am reaching the rightmost part of my string. So, I come one step to the left. So, this will be my rightmost symbol. Now, I check if this symbol is same with the symbol that I just replaced over here. So, here it was a B. So, here also it's a B. So, this B also I will replace it with a blank symbol. Now, I will keep moving to the left again until I encounter a blank and then I understand that this is my leftmost symbol and I check what is it? It's an A. So, I replace this with a blank 
and then I keep moving to the right until I encounter the next blank which makes me understand that I am reaching the rightmost portion of my string. So I come here and I understood that this is the rightmost symbol and I check if this is same as the symbol that I replaced over here. I replace an A here so this is also an A. So since they are both A I will replace this also with a blank. So I have replaced everything with a blank and finally my tape has nothing but blank symbols. So if you see that the tape has nothing but blank symbols at the end, that means that particular string will be accepted and it is an even palindrome. Alright, now let's say that suppose he, here we had A and then let's say that the next symbol was B over here. I mean the last symbol was a B. Then what will happen? I will first start from here and I see that this is an A, I will replace this A with blank and then I keep moving to the right until I encounter blank to, and I understand that I am reaching the rightmost end. So I come one step to the left and here I see that it's a B but it's not an A. So when I see that these two symbols are not the same, then this string will not be accepted. This string is not an even palindrome. So if you have this kind of cases, they will not be accepted. So even in the middle, even if you encounter this kind of condition, then that will not be accepted. So this is how the Turing machine is going to work for accepting these even palindromes. Now let us see how we can design this Turing machine. So here I have designed this Turing machine for accepting even palindromes over the alphabets A, B. Now let us see how this Turing machine works. So first we have the start state A and then we have states B, C, D, E, F, G and we have an accept state. And here I am showing you a tape which contains the same example that we have taken. So using this example we will clarify how this Turing machine is working. So here we have our starting state which is state A and here are the transitions for state A. Now if you notice here there is a slight difference in the way we have written our notations. In the previous lectures we used to write A and then we used to have an arrow instead of this slash mark and then the rest of the things were the same. So why I am using a slash mark is that in some of the books they may use a slash mark and in some books they use an arrow but basically they just mean the same thing. So I don't want you to get confused by seeing the different notation. That is why I have used the slash mark in this example. So what it means is that whatever symbol is there in the beginning that is the symbol you are reading and then the symbol after the slash mark that is the symbol that you are going to write into the tape and then the R over here it represents the side where you have to move either right or to the left. If you have to move to the left it will be written as L. Alright, so let's see how this Turing machine is going to work. So we come to state A and if you get small a as the first input symbol then what you do you replace that a with a blank and then you move to the right. So first my tape head is over here so I am seeing an a so I replace it a with a blank I replace that a with a blank and then I move to the right. So now my tape head is over here. Now in state b whether I get a or b I am going to replace A with A itself and if it is a B I am going to replace B with B itself and I am going to move to the right. So basically what this means is that you are not actually replacing the symbols with anything different but you are writing the same symbols and you just want to move to the right. So here I am getting B so I will just move to the right and then I am getting A I will just move to the right. So whether you just get A or B keep moving to the right by replacing them with the same symbols. So by replacing them with the same symbols I mean that you are actually not replacing or overwriting it with anything different. Now how long do we have to keep moving forward to the right until you encounter a blank symbol. So when you encounter a blank symbol you understand that you have reached the rightmost portion of your tape. So here I kept moving right until I encountered a blank this blank over here. So I understood that I have encountered the rightmost portion of my string. Now I replace the blank with blank itself. So this blank will be blank itself. Then I move one step to the left. So from here I move one step to the left and I am right now at this position where I have an A. Now in state C if I get an A again 
then it says replace that a with a blank and move to the left so i replace this a with a blank and i move to the left i am over here right now now another thing we can say is that what if i got a b over here instead of an a so in state c if i get a b instead of a then we see that there is no transition shown for that in this diagram so what does that mean i already told you whenever you see that a particular input or a particular condition is not having a transition that means that just goes to the reject state so i have not mentioned or drawn a reject state separately in this diagram but whenever you see that a particular input or a particular condition does not have a transition just know that it is going to the reject state so in state c if you are getting b instead of a that means it is going to the reject state so we can understand if it's going to be an event palindrome then if you get a here you have to get a at the rightmost end otherwise it is not going to be an event palindrome so if you get a b it will go to reject state and it will not be accepted so remember that now let's continue after you get an a you moved one step to the left by replacing a with a blank so we are over here right now and in state d it says keep moving to the left whether you get b or a replace it with the same thing and then keep moving to the left so i will keep moving to the left like this and till when do i move to the left till i encounter a blank symbol so when will i encounter a blank symbol i will keep moving to the left and here i have a blank symbol this a is replaced with a blank so i have encountered a blank symbol so replace it blank with blank itself so it is blank over here and then move one step to the right so i will be over here now from here i moved one step to the right so i am here right now so i again come back to state a now the next input that i am getting is b now in state a if i get b what happens if i get b then i will replace the b with a blank and move one step to the right so let me replace this b with a blank and then i move one step to the right so i am over here right now and then it you come to state e and it says whether you get a or b keep moving to the right so i will keep moving to the right and till when will i move till i encountered a blank symbol so when do i encounter a blank symbol it is over here so at this point i encounter a blank symbol and then it says when you encounter a blank symbol move one step to the left so when i encounter the blank symbol over here i move one step to the left and i am here right now now in state f we are getting this input b now it says that in state f if you are getting input b replace that b with a blank and move one step to the left so i replace this b with a blank and i move one step to the left so i am here now now you can also see that in state f if you are getting a instead of b so there is no transition that means it will go to the reject state so if you are getting uh, a over here then it will not be accepted why because the second symbol here was a b so the second last symbol also should be b it should be the same otherwise it cannot be an even palindrome so if you are getting a instead of b in this state f then it will go to reject state and it will not be accepted all right so if we continue we come to state g now and then it says keep moving to the left even if you get a or b just keep moving to the left so from here i am keep moving to the left till when until i encounter a blank symbol so i encounter my blank symbol over here so from here i was moving left and here i got my blank symbol and then it says replace the blank with blank itself so it is a blank over here and then move one step to the right so i'll move one step to the right so i'll be over here now and then we come back to state a and then what are we getting we are right now over here and we are getting a so if we are getting a in state a this portion will continue again so this portion will continue and as it continues this a will be replaced with a blank and then this a also will be replaced with a blank because this portion is going to continue just like the one we discussed and then finally we come back to state a again and we see that we are getting a blank in state a because everything is blank now so we are getting blank so it says move to the left and accept it 
So when everything is filled with blank, so we come to the accept state and that string will be accepted. So that is how this Turing machine for the event palindromes will be working. So basically that is how you design it. You have to just see what is the first symbol and then you have to compare it with the last symbol and if it is the same then you have to continue checking it for the second symbol and check the second last symbol if they are same and then the third symbol and then the third last symbol and you keep checking it and finally if you are able to replace everything with blank then that will be accepted otherwise it is rejected so i hope that was clear to you thank you for watching and see you in the next one